Hello and welcome to another edition of Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Vanelli. Now, our topic today is how to repair lens distortion, especially when we're using a wide-angle lens. As a special treat, what I want to do is also show you how to embrace that lens distortion and give some of these photos a really cool, clever look to them and a creative look to it by applying the lens distortion. So we'll start that in just a moment. But before we begin, let's just take a moment and thank our partner. Fujifilm. Make images, share stories, and experience moments at the speed of life with Fujifilm. Thank you for staying at home with us. And we're back. Welcome, everyone. We have our friends coming in from Japan, Canada. Uh, my favorite cousin, Marianne, is on. It's great to see everyone here. All right, so let's dive right in. So the first thing I want to do is oh, right here. There we go. So the first thing I, I want to do is show you the harder part on how to um, correct for lens distortion. So we'll use this image here first. Now, coming from, and let me put the highlighter on. Here we go. From the Essentials uh, Looks Collection, I want to apply the AI Image Enhancer. That's my go-to one. I use that just to make everything look better. So I'm going to use that one first just to clean up this image. Got it. And one more. Uh, there we go. All right, so here we go, guys. So I have that image set. Now I'm going to come over here to the uh, Canvas tools, and I'll click on Lens and Geometry. Since this is a JPEG, I don't have some of the tools available to me that the RAW files would. All right, so the first thing we need to do is let's get it from tilting forward to sit up straight. If I used a tilt shift lens, that would do it while I'm taking the photo. Those lenses are pretty expensive. So here, let's try this. So I'm going to take vertical and get it to the point to where it looks good. Get right about here. All right. Now that I have it upright, notice this gray box around it. That's part of your canvas. So we have to expand the image to fill in where the pixels are missing. So I can use scale. And I want to scale this up just a bit. Oh, there we go. And then I can use X and Y. So I can shift it over or up and down. I think right about here looks good. And for the Y offset, I can move it from left to right. Good. Right about there looks good. All right. Oh, I like that. Now, let's do the tilt again for the vertical tilt. Just a little more right about there. All right. And then for the aspect ratio, because we did that, you notice how it kind of looks elongated? So I can stretch it out, and no, that's too much, right about here. All right, that looks realistic. And then let's scale it just a little bit more. Right there. All right, there we have it. So before and after. Now, obviously, it'd be better if I use that tilt shift lens for images like this, but again, imagine you're traveling or you're on vacation. You don't have to, you may not have enough room to pack all your gear. So this was a quick way to get the, the shot level up. All right, let's do one more, a complicated one, and then we'll get into the fun stuff. All right, so here we are again. Looks and AI image enhancer. Ooh, that already looks better. Look at that. Before and after. So now we have it set, canvas tools, lens and geometry. Let's start with the shift, the tilt shift. Right about here. That looks like it straightened everything out. 
All right, uh, scaling it. Good. And we could even, let's see, here's some of the distortion. Look at that. So if I go to the left, it's going to give me like a round bubble. If I go to the right, look what it's, let me scale it back a little bit so you can see. Look, look, look what it's doing. So you see the bottom, how it's, you have it curving in or curving out. So by doing what we just did, it curved it in such a way to where it's letting it, look at that. It's giving us that little extra <clears throat> to work with. Now, uh, we'll do the X and Y again. I always get these confused. Good. And then let's bring it down a little. Good. And I'm going to scale it back a little bit more until, yeah, see, look at this. See, so I can't go too far because notice I'm off the canvas here. So I'd have to make a decision and I could push it over a little bit more like this. You know, uh, yeah, right about here. And once again, for the scaling, I'll increase the scaling just a little bit more. And I'm going to do a little dance between, there we go, those two. And there we have it. All right, so once again, before and after. All right, that was really cool. Now, that's how we use the, the lens and geometry to fix mistakes. Now, let's purposely do something pretty cool here. Let me come in here to the adjustments. There. So here's the original image. All right. Now, watch this. Boop, look at this. <laughs> I think that's so adorable. Before, after, let me get myself out of there so you can see it better. There we go. Before and after. So you see how it's adding to that, I almost said puppy dog look. You see how it's adding to that cute little kitten look. Um, let's use this little rat. Um, here's the original. Actually, let's come down to the history tool. So here's the original. Let me just enhance it a bit. Good. So now we have it enhanced. Ready? Canvas tools, lens and geometry. We're going to do two things with this. We're going to make it look bolder. And look what it's really doing. It's like rounding the edge for me. And let's do the tilt on this one. And the reason why I'm doing the tilt is look what it's doing to the head. It's making the head look larger than the lower body. So it's giving us a really cool perspective, you know, a, um, a distortion effect. Increase it. Good. And let's, let's take it and scale it. There we go. And while we're here, let's bring it down. Right about there. There we go. Before and after, all right? And notice we're still keeping the same amount of pixels, but within those pixels, we're manipulating them for this. And I have one last one I'll do. Here's the cute little Olive, all right? The rescue kitten that we have. All right, so here, here he is. Now, again, I'm gonna do that lens distortion to show you. Look at this. Now, I'm not gonna go over, well, I'll go right about to here. You see what it just did? It gave him more of a rounded type look. Look at that. And if I go the opposite direction, look what he's doing. It's almost like shifting his head. Look how he's shifting. All right. I like this way a little bit better. There's that rounded look. Good. I like that. Um, we can scale it just a little bit up. There we go. And let's shift it over just a little bit. Or, yeah, 
over just a little bit, right about there. And there we have it. Let me, good, now get out of the way. So once again, oh, here we go, before and after. Before, one more, and after. So you see how that's gonna add that little extra to it to make it just look a little bit sharper. And that was using the, the lens um, perspective. The first way I showed you how to fix an image, second way I showed you how to use it very creatively. And these work great if you want, let's say um, more of a character type portrait of someone. I have a really good photo which I, I had on here was my good buddy Ray, Ray Nason. And he's standing there looking really cool like this. There's another where he's pointing his finger. And we do the same thing with the perspective. And he just looks larger than life. That's when you would sneak one of these things, one of these effects in. And you look at it, you can't tell the perspective was changed. You just know it looks different. And for that, I really like it. So, hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you like episodes like this, please don't forget to hit, to hit that thumbs up and leave comments below. And if you have any questions whatsoever or suggestions for future shows, let us know in the comments. Well, I'm Vanelli, and I'll see you at the next coffee break.